Flash LaRue, three decades later, still drawing crowds of all ages. And as for his famous whip, it's still cracking with precision accuracy. Well, most of the time. That's one way of getting your hat off, anyhow. <laughs> Lash was in Gaffney, making an appearance at the Peach Festival Parade. Later, he arrived for a showing of one of his classics, The Vanishing Outpost, at the Capri Theater, which is the local equivalent of the Bijou. In a picture called Song of O Wyoming, there was a part that I wanted to play, uh, and it called for a guy to use the whip. And uh, I lied to get the part, and then went out and rented a couple of whips and beat myself to death to try to learn how. All of that whipping really doesn't look that hard, so I thought I'd give it a try. But even after some expert help, I still couldn't quite get the hang of it until... Well, that's close, but no cigar. <laughs> Indiana Jones, eat your heart out. Somebody asked me on television what was my last picture. I said, I haven't made it yet. I, maybe you'll be in it. OK. Yeah. Two, one. You don't see the type of Western Lash LaRue made in the 40s and 50s anymore, but LaRue, for one, thinks the pendulum is about... I'm hosting a uh, television show called uh, Cowboy Classics, mm -hmm. Channel 18, mm -hmm. and we're hoping to go national with it. Are you really? The syndicated. Go ahead. Okay. Lash is a nice turnout tonight. It has to yes, make you feel like you're not forgotten, for sure. Well, it, you know, it's a real privilege to be part of the past, and... Uh, I appreciate them all being here. I think there's a little cowboy in everybody. I'm sure you ask this all the time, but what do you think of the quality of motion pictures today versus your era in films? Well, I think we, our story writers need to scratch their heads and come up with some ideas because uh, we have material to work with uh, that would be more interesting and more edifying to the children than what we're using. It's a shame that we don't uh, uh, have a little integrity in our entertainment. Westerns aren't nearly as popular, as they, of course, as they were in the 50s and in the 40s. I believe why, they will come back. Oh, why do you think that's true? Well, we, uh, this is a very interesting and uh, important part of the growth of our great country, and it'll never die. Uh, once in a while, it, it'll take a little uh, lax in a spot, but it'll come back because uh, there's a little cowboy in everybody, and it's a continuous show. Do you have a favorite film that you were in or and or a favorite actor you work with or actors? Well, of course, my favorite actor was Fuzzy St. John. Al St. John was his real name. He was one of the original five uh, Keystone Cops way back in the silent days before you were born. But uh, my favorite actor, of course, would have to be him. I learned a great deal from him. My favorite director was Bob Tansy, who, uh, with his uh, great ingenuity, taught me a lot of things that he didn't know he was teaching me. I've had a very uh, interesting life. I wouldn't want to have to do it over again, but I've had a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you. That's fine. So that you can get autographs and, and talk to... Uh, no, you yeah, what do you got? 
beta or the AC, we have facilities out there to do it. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the CBN Morning Double Feature. Today's second feature is a Western adventure. Lash LaRue stars in Outlaw Country, our second feature on the CBN Morning Double Feature. Fuzzy, what do you got your eyes closed for? Can't open them for five minutes. Oh, so it's you. What a fine guard you turned out to be. The oldest trick in the world, and I fell for it. Yeah, and I'm the fellow they're shooting at. Could you make out who the leader was? Uh, he appeared to be a gray-haired fellow with a black hat and uh, wore light doe-skin gloves. Turned off the road and went up that trail. Sure, I told you it was hopeless. They could be anywhere by now. I guess you're right, Sheriff. Right, boy, now you've done it. Sheriff? Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, even broke the skin. I don't think you live. You can't make it stick. I'm the law around this part of the country. <laughs> This is going to make me feel a lot. All right, Price. Count to three. On three, we both fire. One. Two.
I think Shy can take care of himself. Sure put him out of business this time. <laughs> and uh, next time, remember what I told you about women. <laughs> now, folks, uh, I'd like to dedicate this occasion by Reciting a little poem I wrote. Remember what I told you, Fuzzy? As I was about to say before I was so rudely interrupted. I warned you. Quiet. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you and your women. <laughs> all over the territory. Well, do we have to keep running from them? We'll find out when we get to Fork River. Fork River? Oh, that's a ghost town. Nobody lives there. Marshal Clark told us to meet him there. I think he's on to something big, else he wouldn't have told us to keep our identities a secret. Well, I don't mind keeping us a secret, but then Randy's shooting at us, and us not shooting back. That ain't my idea of fun. You're right, Fuzzy. Well, if we keep riding, we should be in Fork River by sundown. Yeah, if we're lucky. Yeah, I think so. Renegades. This is the toughest country I've ever seen. You're right, Fuzzy. It'd take a U.S. cavalry unit to get those fellas out of there. Hmm. Well, how do you figure on busting in there? It's a little early to tell. But I have an idea. <laughs> A 
Now start walking towards that door, Marshal. Marshal? What's the idea, McCord? The boys and I thought you were acting pretty strange. When Turk here said he saw your snake buck off a horse with a bullwhip, I started to figure out a few things. Like what, for instance? Like whether you're the Frontier Phantom or a U.S. Marshal. Hold it. I wouldn't try that. Look around you. You're covered. You haven't got a chance, Marshal. We're in this thing too deep to allow you to interfere. You know, I've been waiting a long time to get your brother, the Frontier Phantom. Seeing as how you've got his clothes on, you'll do just as well. The next one's got your name on it, McCord. You just elevate your hands. You're in this as deep as we are, Frontier. You just line up in a nice, neat row. I'm taking you back to stand trial. If you take us in, you're also putting a noose around your own brother's neck. What about that, Frontier? Shut up and do what he tells you to do. The deal is set. I'm betting my chips on Lash. Now line up and do what he told you. Or I'll let daylight through the first one of you who looks like he won't. Seems he was working for McCord. Gosh, Lash, you had me worried there for a while. When I saw your brother Frontier stretched out over there, I, I thought it was you. Take a look at my brother, Fuzzy, to see if he's all right. I'm going after McCord. <laughs> Bell Star, <laughs> she wanted to marry me. Of course, I was a little bit young at the time. But <laughs> you really knew all of them? Why, I used to hunt buffaloes with Buffalo Bill. And outshot him three to one. Him too? You are not spoofing me, are you, Fuzzy? Oh, did I know Buffalo Bill. Why, him and me was blood brothers, adopted by the same Indian tribe. And if I'm a lion to you, I hope my knees buckle right in the middle and I go to sleep for two months. Fuzzy, I'd like you to meet an old friend of yours, Buffalo Bill. What's your name? Why, uh... Buffalo Bill? <laughs> Should wake up in about three months.
Slope Farms for the best buys.